You know, this theme of judgment is not something that we go to readily. Uh, but what is the fruit of meditating on God's judgment? Um, one, it gives us a perspective. Um, you remember, and we won't go over it in detail, but in Psalm 73, the psalmist looks out at the man who cares nothing about God, and his life is pretty comfortable. He's caring so much about God and trying to live for Him, and yet his life is full of trouble. And he says, is, there, is, is it even worth it? Look, if that person cares less about you. But then he says he gets into the sanctuary of God, and he gets perspective. He says, oh, this man who looks like he's just having uh, an easy life and a comfortable life, he's headed toward judgment. Oh God, he says, forgive me, I've been reasoning like an animal. It's that perspective. It's that perspective. So we need that perspective. Uh, these are a few questions, you know, that the concept of meditating on judgment gives us this perspective. Do we daily reflect on our own mortality? Do I daily realize there are only two destinations for people, heaven or hell? And I and every person I know will go to either one or the other. Do I daily remind myself that this world is not my home and then everything in it will burn, leaving behind only what's eternal? Do I daily recognize that my choices and actions have a direct influence on the world to come? Do I daily realize that my life is being examined by God, the audience of one, and that the only appraisal of my life that will ultimately matter is His? So you see, uh, a perspective, a perspective that judgment gives us sometimes when life just goes so fast, we just don't think about that. But to pause and get that perspective, certainly the concept of also the judgment of God gives us a reverence for Him. Uh, the morality of our nation changed when the pulpits, largely speaking, quit speaking of the judgment of God. Now, some people will, will say, boy, I grew up in a church and all I heard was fire and brimstone. If that's all that you heard, that's way out of balance. But if we never hear that, that is also out of balance. Um, we need a reverence for God. See, that reverence for God also gives us a confidence in God, a confidence that righteousness is going to triumph. Evil will not be tolerated forever. It will be judged and confined, and righteousness is going to win. Obviously, it's the judgment of God that makes us so grateful for Christ. He bore our judgment. God wants us to escape His judgment. And also, it should as we meditate on it, give us a great compassion for the lost. When Paul spoke to the lost in, in Philippians 3, he says, I tell you even weeping that their end is destruction. Jesus never spoke of hell with a clenched fist, but with a broken heart. So there's great fruit in meditating upon this doctrine of the judgment of God. It gives us a perspective. It gives us a reverence for God, a confidence that His righteousness is going to triumph, a gratefulness for Christ, and a compassion for the lost. God, would you bear this fruit in each of our lives for the glory of God. Amen.